just when you thought we were done, they drag us back in again. Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? Avengers, 60 years of Earth's mightiest heroes. We're back with another two pack. This time it's the Black Knight without his cape and Cersei. So if you were reading the comic book, this two pack is based on Avengers, ooh, the late 200s or early 300s. I can't remember where, I think it was, it was the early 300s. Anyway, so to full transparency, it is 9.26 p.m. on Saturday night. I was already in bed and kind of falling asleep. I've had a really long week. And then Amazon, dropping it off late. And the only reason I'm reviewing it is because I have a full day tomorrow and I'm not gonna be home. And I wouldn't be able to get out till Monday or Tuesday, so I said, let me just do it now. If I don't sound enthused, it's not because I don't like the set, or it could be because I don't like the set, we'll see. But it's because I'm super tired. All right, enough talking, you're here for the figures. All right, Dane Whitman comes with an alternate set of hands and plasma sword or laser sword or lightsaber. Cersei also comes with an alternate set of hands, got some fists there, and fireball effects. They're not new, but we don't get them every three figures, so I'm happy. I just, as long as she didn't come with those forearm wraparounds. Woo, win. All right, be super careful. Plasma sword is not with the rest of the accessories in the paper bags. It's in a separate piece of cardboard. This is at the bottom of the box. I threw mine in my recycling bin. I had to go fish it out. And there are the accessories. Oh boy, this Cersei. Mm. All right, so let's get this out of the way. I am not gonna do articulation or anything with that dumpster fire Cersei. She is trash. Don't be fooled if you think she looks good from far away when you get her in hand. She's inexcusable. The only good things on her, the head sculpt, the belt. And I guess the paint job is okay. But picture every single Marvel Legend female body part that you don't wanna see on a figure, it's here. Those played out hands that have been used over and over again. Picture of Phoenix, all the new mutant bodies just over and over again. Those janky single jointed elbows. Her legs are skinny and flimsy. Her knee joints are wobbly. It was hard to get her to stand. It, uh, the jacket, I believe that this is a Gambit jacket just cut off and retooled. They didn't even do an original jacket for her. It, it's just another case of them throwing in trash in a two pack. Now the Black Knight, a lot of reuse, but I, I think the original Black Knight that they did with the Thanos wave a few years ago, I think it's one of the best Marvel Legends figures made. I love it. I never opened mine or reviewed it. That's why I don't have it up here. I bought it for my son and I messed around with his. I went to go borrow it, he couldn't find it. But it's not necessary because you know what you're getting. Either you're into the classic style or you're into this early 90s style. And even if you prefer the classic style, this one is still kind of dope. I love the way he has tights on with the chest emblem, even though Chest emblems cut off, unless you're leaning back here. I do like the plasma sword, even though the enemy blade's always better. But his jacket looks pretty good. Lower half of the body, you know what you're getting. Old part still. I stand by what I always say. These anniversary lines, supposedly the premier lines from Marvel Legends every year, shouldn't be reused. With the mount they charge, it should be all new tooling. This is like their big thing for the year. Save the retooling for the bath waves. You're gonna charge a premium for these two packs? Give us premium product. 
And they didn't even try to hide that flesh. It just looks awful from the side on Cersei. They could have painted the back of the flesh to match the jacket. It just doesn't look good. And she's a flying figure, so you're gonna put those hands up. So again, head sculpt's pretty good, not perfect. The belt is awesome. Other than that, nothing. So she's going bye-bye. I really dig the plasma sword, though. It looks good, especially when you shine some light on it. Gold on the helmet is good. His little beard stubble looks realistic. I love the head sculpt, even though you can't see his whole head. But the helmet looks really good. The seam on his biceps are hidden very well. He's getting good range there with those double jointed pinned elbows. No butterfly joints in there though. You can see a little bit of blue under that vest. It's not as big a transgression as it is with Cersei. His head's kind of loose. And then got the same old, same old at the bottom. Looks like he has drop hips, but he does not. But overall, I dig him as a stark contrast to the classic look. And I would have been fine with him in a one pack, but in a two pack, I feel like we're getting robbed. I think this sums up how I'm feeling. In my humble opinion, two pack is not worth it. If you want this Black Knight, I'd say get him off of eBay, trade, or pick him up, use somewhere at your local shop. I would not pay for this two pack. If you want Cersei, she'd probably be a pretty easy customer to do or get somebody to do for you. I just can't say anything to justify the purchase, no matter how bad you want a Cersei. It's just kind of pathetic. I'm starting to get tired of this roller coaster with Marvel Legends where you get one figure and, oh man, it's one of the best things I've seen in the line, it's awesome. Then the next three figures you get are low level effort or like in this case, complete trash. So I'm sure whatever legend I get in the mail next, I'm gonna be like, oh wow, I love it. I don't know, I just think Hasbro could do better for its fans. I know Hasbro could do better for its fans. But like I said, it's late, I'm going to bed. Go ahead and sound off in the comments, let me know what you think. How does this Black Knight compare to the original? Do you prefer the classic or you like this new look for him? By new look, I mean 90s. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you don't like what I said, or if you do like what I said, talk to me in the comments. Don't hit the thumbs down button. Make sure to share a link to this video with friends who love the plastic like we do. Till next time, Black Knight's out of here.